One of the first warnings to the public early this week was don't panic, but we are seeing signs of that. CBS 17 digital reporter Judith Roitana continues our team coverage with why that message created the very opposite effect. Before the empty pumps came a run on gas. People panic buying, even as local leaders claim there was enough gas and to remain calm. Is this just selfishness or is there something else at play here? I guess you could, could frame it as selfish in a way. Um, there, there's some brute um, sort of sort of neuroscience happening as well, though. Dr. Gherkin says the voicing of a potential issue with fuel prompted people to think about the way they associate with it. In most people's minds, I don't think they're meaning to be selfish. Yet they are thinking about, you know, their responsibilities. And it's really hard to resolve those worries without taking some kind of action. That action in this case is stocking up on as much fuel as possible. He says what the public needed was a more balanced messaging. Something more like, hey, okay, get the gas you need. Don't get more than you need because this looks like it's going to be temporary. What we're seeing is similar to the run on toilet paper at the start of the pandemic. Dr. Gherkin says you can't totally separate the two circumstances. All of us are in this space of like, well, what's next? You know, uh, this just, it's harder to trust all the conveniences and infrastructure. He says worry and concern is normal. A slowing down and zooming out and sort of determining well, what, what really is necessary here. All skills we started practicing in the early days of COVID-19. Judith Ratana, CBS 17 News.